Women in the biomedical engineering field have called for the absorption of the workspace by various hospitals and organizations. During celebrations to mark the International Women in Engineering Day, the professionals declared, that, decried rather, that the field is still male-dominated. Millicent Olo, Secretary General of the Women in Biomedical Engineering Kenya, noted that insufficient working tools is the biggest hurdle in maintaining hospital equipment and devices. They gathered to celebrate seasoned women biomedical engineers. It is a field that focuses on the maintenance and repair of hospital equipment and devices. We advocate for women to be given these opportunities because most of the hospitals or most of the organizations that are employing biomedical engineers have not opened up to the fact that women can do it better. Despite the field being male-dominated, they say there is still a shortage of about 7,000 biomedical engineers in the hospitals across the country. Currently we have about 900 biomedical engineers who have been employed by the government. However, we have about 10,000 who are out there who have graduated, some are working and some are not working. To respect these great women, the medical engineers, and stop calling these funny names, Mama Wa Maintenance. I was working also in an hospital and they used to term me as Mama Wa Maintenance. We are professionals like just like any other. This shortage has largely affected the maintenance of sophisticated hospital equipment. We have disruption of services and unfortunately even at times fatalities as a result of services not being available in facilities because of non-functional equipment. The challenges usually are as a result of non-trained biomedical engineers or not engineers, lack of availability of spare parts. The International Women in Engineering Day is marked annually on 24th of June. Kamchemenza for Prime Edition.